What's up guys and welcome back to another episode here on Full Throttle. My name is Charlie and today I'm going to be doing something that uh, my girlfriend has been waiting to do for a while. She's putting these cloth seats in her car instead of, uh, she's cleaning them up right now, instead of having leather seats because these leather seats, they get worn out really quickly like this. And on top of that, uh, they get really hot here in the summer in California. So what we're gonna be doing is we're going to be taking these seats out that have airbags. Now, these other cloth seats, they don't have airbags. They came out of a 2008 350Z. And um, for some reason in that car, they didn't have airbags in the seats. So what we're doing is we're gonna clean them up and then throw them in here. But since these ones don't have airbags and these ones do, I'm gonna be doing something uh, that's called an airbag resistor. So what happens is basically when you take a seat out of a car that doesn't have, or when you take a seat out of a car that has an airbag and you put a seat in that doesn't have an airbag, like a bucket seat or like a Sparco seat or a bride seat or something like that, or in our case, a um, uh, just a regular 350Z cloth seat that doesn't have airbags, well, that's gonna throw a code in your airbag computer because it's saying that there's no airbag there and it's just gonna be an open circuit. So basically, you need to put what's called a resistor and um, <clears throat> some people just put it inside of the plug. I think I'm gonna solder it right into the wire and uh, since we're not gonna be putting any seats in here that have airbags in the future and since she's probably gonna have bucket seats in the future anyways, then uh, we're never gonna have the need for airbags in the seats. So. I'm probably just going to solder a resistor right into the wire and uh, call it a day. Well, um, there's a couple of different ways you can do this. You can use uh, these little clips that basically clip around the existing wire. So you can keep the plug there, but I'm not going to keep the plug there at all. I'm just going to cut the plug off probably and then do it that way. Or I'm just going to take the resistor and plug it directly into where the plug is. So we're going to see what we're going to do when, uh, when we get the seats out. But yeah, so all right guys, we'll be right back. So what we're gonna do is there's two 14 millimeters up here in the front and there's two 14 millimeters right here in the back. So you can see these little rubber, I mean little plastic caps down here. Let's see if I can get it zoomed in here. These little plastic caps right here. And uh, you pop those off, there's a 14 millimeter bolt under there and then, uh, then the seat comes out but you have to unplug the wire. Now, but before you unplug the wire, you wanna make sure that you unplug the battery because that'll also throw a code in your, in your airbag computer right when you disconnect the seat that it's gonna say that there's an open circuit, then you have to have your airbag module reset or uh, there's a couple of different ways you can go to uh, turn the light off. But yeah, so you wanna disconnect the battery first and then we'll probably get, we'll get to all these um, bolts before we disconnect the battery because after you disconnect the battery, you won't have the, the function to uh, move the seat front or back. So uh, you have to um, take the bolts out before you take uh, before you disconnect the battery. So these are the airbag resistors. I didn't need a hundred of them, but I ordered uh, a whole bunch. And um, so you can see, I'll get a little bit more light on them here. So these ones have uh, two red marks and two gold marks, or two red lines and two gold lines. And uh, these are 2.2 ohm, uh, one fourth of a watt. A resistors so uh, 0.25 watts uh, 2.2 ohms and uh, that's the required amount um, people say that you can use these one fourth of a watt or one half of a watt um, I ordered two different kinds and uh, these just came in the mail first so we're gonna give these a try she does have a problem with her clock spring that already has the airbag light on just because uh, the clock springs in these 350z's go bad frequently so we're gonna have to replace that before we can get our light to go off anyways, but I don't want it to throw a code for an open circuit on the, on the uh, seat airbag, so we're gonna use these and take out her leather seats. All right, so what we're doing now is she's taking, uh, taking the bolts out of the front. We moved the seat all the way back, and uh, she's gonna take the two 14 millimeters out of up there. Okay. Now we're moved to the back. And to remove the seats, it's easier to take the headrests off so it gives you more clearance when you're trying to remove them. And also to put the seat in the very middle of the rails so uh, you have a, like, it's not pushed all the way to the front or all the way to the rear and you can remove the seat easily. Now we're on the passenger seat. All right, so now that all the seat, uh, the seat bolts are out, we can uh, take off the headrests, center the seat on the rails, 
and uh, then we can disconnect the battery. Yeah, the uh, battery is disconnected. We're um, disconnecting all the wires that uh, are connected to the seat. All right, so we got all the plugs unplugged now, and she's gonna grab the seat and pull it out. The wire that you mainly are focused on for the resistor is that little yellow one. All right, so what we're doing now is we stripped this back a little bit right here. We took off uh, this clip right here and um, pulled some of these wires back out of the way a little bit. And now she's gonna cut the wires off right here at the plug. And then we're gonna get rid of this uh, like a sheath right here. And then um, start wiring the resistor. All right, so now that we've got that uh, little piece of stuff off, she's gonna strip the wire back a little bit. Okay, you got that? Yeah. All right, so now we've got the heat shrink tubing over one side and she's gonna solder the other side of the resistor together. All right, so after you're done with that one, you can uh, move your heat shrink tubing over it and then um, uh, shrink the tubing down and that's it. And it's basically the same exact process on the other side. All you do is you cut the yellow plug and then uh, wire in the resistor. All right, so what we did is we folded the uh, resistor back around the, um, the existing wire and then now she's uh, wrapping it with electrical tape and uh, that's it. Alright guys, so that's pretty much it. Um, we're just going to throw these seats in. It's pretty much the same process as the other side. And these airbag resistors, one more time, they're 2.2 ohm and they're one fourth of a watt. Now, uh, I read on a forum that you can use a half a watt one or a one fourth of a watt, but as long as it's 2.2 ohms, it should be fine. So, yeah. That's pretty much it guys, thanks for watching. If you need any parts for Nissan 350Zs, uh, Infiniti G35s, G37s, or Nissan 300ZXs, be sure to hit that uh, link down in the description for my eBay store. I've got a ton of parts for sale. Hit that thumbs up button if this video helped you at all, and if you have any questions, you can leave them in the comment section below. So, alright guys, see you later. Bye. <laughs>